This is Carrie Parson, a senior technical advisor at IHS Market with another Petra, Did You Know? A series where we bring you functionality and workflows in Petra you may not have been aware of. The only thing that you absolutely have to know is the location of the library. This quote from Einstein invokes images of a traditional library full of books. But did you know that there is a library of geological equations available in Petra for basic log analysis? This library contains pre-built equations like V-shale, water saturation, and others that provide a more complete understanding of the petrophysical characteristics of the rocks in an asset area. Along with these pre-built equations, you can also input and save more complex equations that can really add depth to your analysis and provide support when making business decisions. I'm going to show you how to start building an equation library with Petra's equation transform workflow using the PASI method for TOC calculation as an example. When calculating TOC using the PASI method, it is done in two steps. The first step, we will be calculating the delta log R using our deep resistivity and neutron porosity curves. And in our second step, we will be calculating the TOC. From the compute drop-down menu, select from logs and equation expression to open the log equation transform dialog box. When this dialog box opens, click load. Here you will find all the pre-built equations that are available for basic log analysis in Petra. Now let's enter the delta log R equation for the first step in the PASI method. Once you have entered the equation, click Save. Here is where you will start building your equation library for future quick access. Just give the equation a name and add it to the list. Click OK and you have now started building your equation library. After you have saved your equation, click Next. This equation will create a computed log curve, so the first thing to do is give the computed log curve a name. Now we're going to assign log curves or constants to each variable of the equation. For the resistivity variable, we're going to use the deep resistivity curve. The resistivity baseline is a constant. Constant values can be found in literature or whatever your team may be using. For our porosity, we're going to use the neutron porosity curve. And our, for our porosity baseline, it is another constant value. Remember to click assign after selecting each log or constant to make sure that it is associated with the correct variable. After all the variables have been assigned, click Compute. To do a quick QC of the computed log, go to the Logs tab and look for the delta log R curve that was just calculated. To view this log, just click Curve, and this will give you a quick view of the delta log R that was computed using the equation that you entered. Now let's calculate the TOC curve. From the Compute drop-down menu from Logs Equation Expression to reopen the Equation Transform dialog box. I have already entered PASI's equation for TOC, so I'm going to load it from the Equation Library. I've named it PASI TOC Step 2, and you see how the equation is automatically filled in. And just like the previous workflow, we are going to give the output log a name and assign the variables. For the delta log R, I'm going to use the, de the delta log R that we previously calculated. And the LOM is a constant of about 9.5. I found this constant value in the literature. Once again, we can view the TOC curve that we just calculated 
in our Logs tab for a quick QC. Once the TOC curve has been calculated, you can add it to a cross-section for even more analysis. Once you've selected the wells for your cross-section, go to the Log and Scales dialog box and click on TOC to add it to any of the cross-section tracks. I'm going to add it to Tract 2. I'm going to change the scale, and just for visual interest, I'm going to use a cutoff so we can see how the TOC curve stands out. In track two, with our resistivity curves, you can see our green TOC curve with the yellow cutoff. You can start doing your analysis and drawing some conclusions from the curve. If you would like to add the TOC curve to multiple tracks or even to its own tract, that's fairly simple to do. Just go back to the Log and Scales dialog box and double click on TOC. You'll get this pop-up asking if you wanted to add the selection again. Click Yes. You can now select this TOC curve and a new tract. You can give it a new scale. You can give it a new color. We can see our green TOC in track 2 with our resistivity curves and our brown TOC curve with a different scale in our porosity tracks. You now know how to add petrophysical equations using Petra's Equation Transform to build your equation library for more efficient workflows and deeper understanding of the petrophysical characteristics of the rocks in your asset area. Thank you for watching this episode of Petra, Did You Know?